Hello and welcome, I'm just going to show you how to use a lens flare generated in another piece of software in KDN Live. So we have a video and we're just going to put it in the timeline and we have a lens flare clip. Let's just take a look at that. <clears throat> Yep, nice and simple. So we're going to put this on top. Oh, actually, check it out, we have an actual lens flare effect going on here. That's cool. Very slim though. So we're going to try to overlay this. Um, let's get rid of the, of the rest. And now we just have to find the right transition. So we can click on the corner here, this will generate a transition. We can also use the transition view and drag something from there. Uh, for now, let's try this. Definitely not dissolve. Okay, alpha over might be it. No, no, no. This is pretty cool effect, but this fake HDR, but I don't think that's what we want. So let's see. We want black to be transparent. So, okay, darken. I guess lighten would work. Yep, so we can use lighten. Not wipe, not value, not subtract, not soft light, not slide. Okay, let's see. Screen. Screen seems also to work. So, let's take a look. A bit slow, but yeah. There you go. Basically, you render a lens flare in another program, like OpenShot. There's a video of that. And then you insert it into KDN Live. A little bit of a hassle but better than nothing. Alright, I hope this helped. See you in the next video. Ciao!